I went through the Prime Minister's budget speech in detail. And I noticed certain things highlighted in there that are very sobering in terms of our fiscal position. In a portion of the budget speech, the Prime Minister, the Honorable John Bersenio, made the point quite plainly that of the budget, $704 million, or 62% of the budget, or 62 cents out of every dollar spent, is spent on wages and pensions. I see my learned friend, Senator Cowie, writing. And I start to be corrected because I'm not a math man as he is. But in terms of the budget speech, I saw that reference. There was a reference in the same section that spoke about the expenditure for goods and services. $384 million. And the speech mentioned the comment that there was only a small amount remaining, roughly about $134 million for capital investments. That struck me as a person reading this budget speech. For me to appreciate, notwithstanding any political party, PUP or UDP, as a Belizean in terms of our fiscal realities, that we spend a significant amount of the national budget, and probably rightly so, on the wage bill and on pensions. And so I think it is incumbent for us to appreciate that, for us to appreciate the impact of that, and for us to recognize that there has to then be a huge priority on getting value for that money. Government has to prioritize public sector reform. We have to look at areas where individual Belizeans get value for that significant chunk of the national budget. That's a significant part of or overall spending. It has been that way for a period of time. I note in terms of that section of the budget speech, the Prime Minister mentioned increases over the last administration and this administration in relation to what would have gone on and what he would have inherited. I only want to point out here that when one looks at the numbers, since the last election, and I stand to be corrected, the wage bill has gone up about $30 million. We continue to have a concern raised by our social partner, particularly the unions, about the impact of contract officers and the impact of that on the wage bill.